Hi, and uh, welcome to the Lima Bravo Zero Fox for India YouTube channel. I'm Morton LB Zero Fox India, and today we're going to take a look at a simple antenna design, the T2LT vertical dipole, made entirely out of scrap RJ58 coax. And Tim, Golf 5 Tango Mike, has featured this antenna several times on his channel, and I'll leave a link for one of his videos up here so you can check it out. Uh, so what you do is uh, you take some scrap RJ58, and the antenna part of this is uh, half a wavelength long, in my case, 5 meters for 10 meters, since it's a 10 meter antenna. And you strip uh, the coax until you get to the dielectric for the top half. Uh, for my case, that's 2.5 meters. Then you leave a uh, quarter wavelength uh, on the bottom part, or as Tim said, uh, 2.47 meters uh, on the bottom part, and that's the antenna part. Then you make an air wound choke, in this case, uh, four turns around a 110 millimeter core and then you connect the coax to your radio so it's an easy design so after the intro we'll take a look at what the antenna looks like uh, as i've set it up now uh, we'll take it down and have a closer look and then we'll uh, look at uh, how i did this morning on ft8 and what the antenna looks like on an analyzer so hang on after the intro and uh, we'll take a look at the antenna <laughs> So, uh, this is uh, the airwound choke, as you can see. The mast is uh, just guide to the ground here with some stakes, and it goes all the way to the top here. And about halfway up, uh, the dielectric is bare. And on the top of the mast, the antenna is just taped to the mast. Let's take the mask down and uh, see how it is. As you can see here, we got the Air One choke. Let's just follow the coax up here until we get about halfway up. And here we can see that it's stripped back to the dielectric and just sealed with some heat shrink. And let's take it back up to the top. And at the top I've just taped it off at the top of the mast. So it's simple. And I don't know how durable it is, but it works. So, that was the T2LT vertical dipole. And um, as you can see on the picture from the analyzer, I've cut it a little bit too short, unfortunately. And that was not on purpose. Uh, that was simply just because um, I did it a little bit too fast. The entire process took me about, uh, about an hour from start to finish. There's nothing too bad, and there's nothing a tuner can't fix about it. But, I said I made a QSO this morning. Or I probably didn't say one QSO, but that's what I made. I started calling CQ on 10 meters on FT8. And I got spotted uh, in Central Europe, Israel, uh, Lebanon, and uh, the UK. Uh, but I had a hard time making any QSOs. Uh, 10 meters isn't really open yet here. We're a little bit too far north here at 61 degrees north. So, um, yeah, uh, I made one QSO with an Israeli station, and that was about it. But at least it proves that the antenna design works, and uh, it's an easy design. It's easy to bring with you portable, and that's probably what I'm going to do about it. I got a 10 meter beam as well that I need to get up in a mast, and that's probably going to be my main 10 meter antenna. But uh, as far as as this. It works and it's easy to take portable. You can just string it up into a tree. So what do you guys think? Is this a good antenna design or not? Let me know. And um, if you like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, 7-3.